Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a new series called the Cascadia Clash, where I try to focus on the Cascadian Cup between Portland Timbers, Vancouver Whitecaps, and Seattle Sounders. I've noticed not a lot of people on YouTube are really focusing on this, but I'm trying to get involved with it because it's a very interesting story, right? The fans came together, created this cup, and the three teams just always have something to play for. Anyhow, I'm gonna start off by examining where each team are in the, in the competition, how they're doing, what are the points standing, and what to expect in, in the next games, and who will win based on form. But let's get straight into it. So currently, Vancouver is leading the Cascadian Cup, right? They have the most points. They have 10 points with Portland Timbers on, ten, on, on seven points, and Seattle is only on two. It's been a very awful year for Seattle. I do hope they could regain form and really jumpstart their season so they could make this cup far more exciting and entertaining than I know it can be. They've lost the most games, I think, for Seattle. They've lost three games, draw two, and I think they've only scored seven goals all season. And they have not won a game the entire season. I think they have played five games, but have not won any of those games yet. So that put them at the bottom of the Cascadian Cup tie. And Portland Timbers has played six games so far. They've won two of those. I remember those games very vividly and they have lost three and drew one. So that put them at second. They just played against Vancouver, who was a very good game. 3-2 was the result at the end of the night. Any team could have won that game. I think Portland had great chances, but on the night, Vancouver capitalized more and really, really put their foot down and, and make a stamp on this Cascadian Cup. And they're currently leading by three points. They're on 10 points right now. I do believe that Portland could have won this game because even in my, in my prediction for the MLS games for this week, I had Portland to win. I guess it was my bias because I, I really like Portland more than, than, than all the other teams, but they're, they're very good teams, very interesting team, like their story, like the people, like the fans and everything, but you have to pick and I choose Portland. I believe they started that game a little bit too flat and it took them a while to get into it. I'm not sure what it was. Was it, was it being from home, not being home and being away on the road? I noticed they struggle a lot when they're on the road, but Vancouver really, really showed up in that game. Within the first half, I think they scored two goals or maybe one goal if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, but they definitely stepped up and won this game and that put them at first. So here you could see Vancouver played five games, Portland has played six games and Seattle played five games. If Vancouver win their next game that they have in hand, then that will put them ahead by six points, which at this point so early in the season is not enough, but anything could happen in this league. Seattle, I'm not sure they could come back from this. The season just looked really doubtful because they have not won a game and you look at their matches coming up and you wonder okay where are the points coming from right but it's the mls anything could happen and we will stay tuned here come back for your cascadian clash and round up and and let's just see how this progress over the season i'm keeping an eye on it you should keep an eye on it and let's support the pacific northwest i'm out